the Dino Wash Deluxe. How's a dinosaur supposed to stay clean in the city? We soap them, scrub them, then send them down the line for rinsing and drying. But this job's no picnic. You gotta know the customers. No two dinosaurs are alike and they all need scrub-a-dubbing. Our first customer of the day is Ankylosaurus. Ever count all the knobs and spikes on this dusty old guy? We wash every last one. Styracosaurus rolls in next. He's plenty of work too. Oh, he's great, but with all that frill and those wicked horns, it takes an hour to get him shiny. After his scrub down, Ankylosaurus tells me, just wanted to warn you, kid, Tyrannosaurus Rex is in town. <laughs> Whoa, that's news to me. Bad news. The T-Rex has never come in before, and he is one serious meat eater. Look at his little face, he's so scared. But there's no time to worry about that now. I've got work to do. Pachycephalosaurus is next in line. He's as bald as Mr. Shine Top, my principal. I climb a ladder to rinse him. And I love hosing down... <laughs> I never say this one right. Quasilcopolis? Does that sound right? Sure. Sometimes she sneaks a beak full and douses me. We all sigh when Spinosaurus slogs in. His fin is 20 feet long and 6 feet high. That T-Rex is going to show up here soon, you know. I've had run-ins with him myself, Spinosaurus says, shuddering. I try not to think about it. I've got to be brave. Stegosaurus is finicky about his fins. Make them clean as dinner plates, he orders. Yikes. What if T-Rex wants me on a dinner plate? It'll be okay, I tell myself. Then the big guy shows up. There he is, thudding down the street, a monster straight out of my nightmares. His mouth is as big as a cavern. His teeth are as long as daggers. His footsteps make the windows rattle. Towering overhead, T-Rex stops, turns, and eyeballs me. I'm shaking in my rubber boots. To him, I'm not much more than a pork chop. I take a deep breath. Welcome to the D -D Dino Wash Deluxe. Can I help you, sir? Give me the works, he snaps. Sure, I say, gulping hard. We'll uh, soap you and scrub you and rinse and dry. First, uh, let me grab the shampoo. He leans in closer, glaring at the shampoo bottle I'm holding. You're not going to use that, are you? He growls. But it's just a little shampoo, I tell him. Are you afraid? Me? Afraid? He bellows. Well, maybe you don't like soap in your eyes? It stings. He whimpers. Look, he's so sad. Suddenly, I know just what to do. Don't worry. I used to be afraid of that, too, I whisper to him. Really, he says. Totally. But we do things right here at the Dino Wash Deluxe. I won't get a speck of soap in those peepers. Sure enough, I clean him up in a jiffy. Soap him, scrub him, send him down the line. Uh-huh. He is happy now. And afterward, he's just so proud of himself. Look, he took his bath with no crying. Yay. Ever since that day, T-Rex has been a perfect gentleman. Now I even scrub his back chompers. This was inside there. Yeah. You know what? I love working at the Dino Wash Deluxe. It's a Jabasaurus. And if I play my cards right, one of the customers might just take me for a ride. Mm -hmm. The end. That's Amos's favorite book. Do you like it? Yeah, that's a fun one.